Hi y'all, so it's Jordan. I'm back with another video and in this one I'm gonna be showing you how I Transformed myself. Okay. I used the braid babe uh, Pre-stretched braiding hair. It's 54 inches. She long long. Okay. I used the colors 27 and 30 um, 27 is that lighter color right there and I really did not like the 30 color and I was kind of upset when I saw it so what I did was mixed it in with the 27 oh y'all that's my brother in the background hey Jamari um, so this is what I'm doing I'm just gonna go ahead and split the hair apart put it back together kind of mix it together I don't know what this is called it's like blending I don't know girl if y'all want a uh, tutorial like a separate tutorial of me blending hair I can totally do that so just let me know uh, but it's kind of a long process I'm not even gonna lie to y'all but the outcome is great like I feel like if I don't like a color I'm gonna change it and I'm gonna make it into something that I really like so that's what I'm doing I'm using um, one bundle I will say <laughs> from each pack because it came with three in it and I will link the hair down below also make sure you got some good playing you know or you watching something good so you don't be bored because I was a little bored but anyway um this is what the hair looks like I'm using a rake comb to get all the little tangles out but that hair is bomb like that color bomb the the color before when it was just plain I didn't like it bow that's what she looked like now so I'm gonna use my go-to my trusty dusty okay my shining jam and I'm so sorry y'all look at how fuzzy this clip is look at that and that was a good I, I got a good little grip on that braid anyway I'm starting to do acrylics on my nails y'all and this was like very hard for me <laughs> to braid because I hadn't done my hair with acrylics but as you can see like I was trying to make it work okay and make sure that you're detangling the hair as you go down so that it doesn't get all tangled up and caught up and you know it's not hard to braid Okay, so y'all can see I'm at the top of my head now. I like to braid my perimeter when I do my own hair because like, I never know, excuse me, I never know if I'm going somewhere, you know? I mean, most likely I'm not. <laughs> but if I am, I wanna be able to pull my hair back and act like my head is done. Don't nobody need to know. So there's a little pro tip for you. If you are doing your own hair, start with the outside first work your way to the middle so that you can always put your hair up and leave if you need to also stay hydrated okay drink your water keep your lips moisturized that's some good lip gloss y'all i lost that lip gloss I, I can't have nice things i'm always losing my lip gloss i ain't got no business with it but anyway so this is um I forgot that these are goddess braids until I started <laughs> watching this video again. So you see I'm using these little clips and these clips are so helpful because you can literally just clip it to one little braid, keep that hair out of the way, and then when you release the clip, now you got a little boho braid, you feel me? And um, this crochet hair, I was going to show y'all which hair that I used, but it's not good hair. So I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not even going to show y'all. So um, make sure that the hair that you get is good. Like I recommend like Bobby Boss, uh, even, uh, Outre, Free Tress, okay? Brands like that, like they got really good uh, crochet hair. Like, you know, the little curly hair. Because whatever off-brand I used, this was crap okay this crap was trash just as, just as I thought trash <laughs> so <laughs> once I get to the end 
I tie it off with the uh, straight hair and then I leave that hair this is the uh, mousse that I'm using I'll show y'all again slow down but I didn't like that mousse either so use it at your own will okay I like the lot of body um, mousse that one is good it's like blue I'll, I'll show y'all in a later video but this is what I'm doing I'm taking uh, one piece I'm splitting it into uh, one third and two thirds if that makes sense I'm taking the one third and I'm wrapping it around the one that's two thirds and making three equal pieces about just like that boop just like that now this is how I grab the hair and I'm sorry y'all my hands is ashy my hands is uh, in the way but I'll try and make a a super super detailed like in-depth video for y'all if that's what you want so go ahead and like this video if you like braiding content because I love braiding content now I left this clip in here so I could show y'all like look at look at how this braid is turning out like this is why I constantly like be looking in the mirror and like feeling you know like because I could feel a lot with my hands like if I could feel it I could feel something's wrong I gotta take it out and start over so that's basically what I did I'm just showing y'all like if it starts to bump like this <laughs> you don't want your hair to bump like this it's not supposed to look like that don't let it bump like this <sighs> take my phone away anyway um and then I was looking at how big my forehead is y'all I ain't got no sense sometimes I was so tired um so yeah if the hair gets all tangled, just comb it out or use a little detangling brush again and you'll be totally fine. So I'm starting over to rebraid that. And this is so hard with acrylics. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is my first time braiding with acrylics on. And I was struggling, honey. But we going to get it. You know why? Because I got it. <laughs> just like that. And I'm braiding down. <sighs> Y'all going to get tired of me. And um, just constantly adding more shining jam, adding more little pieces. Um, I did like cut the hair in half because it was like kind of long. So I cut the uh, crochet hair in half. And I'm just going to take this little clip again and clip it out the way. I said I'm going to clip. Yeah, girl, put that clip on there. And I'm going to just braid down. And y'all going to see the vision start to come together okay it's it's coming together she's coming together also this was a little while ago so y'all leave my little ponytail alone okay it don't look like that no more okay and also a, a year from now my little ponytail is gonna be full <laughs> So don't say nothing about my little cauliflower ponytail. Thank you, management. Also, some of these uh, braids didn't have the hair at the bottom like you see me braiding into right now. Like, I did that for the majority of them, but I think I only got like one or two packs of crochet hair. So, I didn't have enough to put at the bottom of every one. So, the ones that I didn't, I braided down regularly and I just like left enough space at the bottom to curl it on my own and y'all see that here shortly but like look at this hair y'all like I'm surprised it came out like it did because like all this hair is so tangled 
like it was just getting everywhere and I was like bro I was so nervous I was like this is not gonna turn out how I wanted to because of all this hair but it came through <laughs> so um I'm gonna show y'all what I did to take it from looking a little ratty mess like this to looking cute, okay? Because we don't have time to be looking no ratty mess. Who a ratty mess? You a ratty mess. I'm not a ratty mess. To, okay? Uh, next clip before I get mad. So, this is the next day. Um, I just tie my hair up with a scarf and then put my large bonnet on top. And it usually stays there all night. Y'all look how tired I was. I'm so tired. Uh, this took like all day, all night. Like, ooh, I was so tired. But this is how it's looking so far. Like, she real long. Like, I love long hair. Like, long braids are just my weakness. Like, they cute. So, what I'm doing right now is cutting the uh, hair that needs to be out of the way. Okay? Okay. And then I'm taking all, all the pieces that you see I just kind of tied off and left straight. I'm going to take a, a perm rod, a little blue one, a little small one, so it could match as much as possible to the crochet hair. And I'm wrapping it around, and I'm going to dip them. Dip. Okay? Boop. Just like that. Now, let me show y'all. This is kind of hard, though. So if you need help during this part, get it. Okay? Get, get the help if you can. But, you know, I'm I'm a strong, independent black woman. I don't need no help. Okay? So, I did it myself. Um, it would, I, sh I totally should have asked for help, but, you know, it's okay. Um, so, as long as you got a towel, you good. Don't burn yourself. And I'm just going to dip all the other pieces. You know, repeat the same thing on the other side. You could either boil the water or make it hot in the microwave. It really don't matter. And now I'm just going to take off these pieces and boom, it blends right in, y'all. I was actually shook. I was surprised at how much this hair, like, blended in. And I was very happy with the results. So y'all going to see. I'm going to slow it down for y'all if it'll focus. Because... Come on, sis. Come on. There we go. Bow, just like that. She is cute. And you know, just cut off any pieces that is tangling or looks a mess like that. We're going to cut that off. I don't know what that is. Get that off. You know, we don't need that. And that's the, that's the rest of it. You know, that's basically it, y'all. I'm just talking at this point. So again, I'm going to take this mousse, put it all over my hair, focusing like on the ends especially because once that mousse hits the uh, crochet hair, I don't know what it does to it, but it kind of like locks it into place and makes it like, makes the curl stand out. Like it does a really good job of that. And so I just kind of spray that all over my hair, rub it in and make sure that um it's distributed evenly okay and look at that look at this hair what we're gonna do to it er, cut it off we don't need that it's getting caught it's getting tangled what we're gonna do sis boop cut it off just like that uh <laughs> and that's it y'all i said i was gonna stop talking five times already but i don't know how to do that i just be talking talking for real but this is the hair, like it is so cute. 
Okay, boop! I'm back, I used the Style Factor uh, Edge Booster in Sugar Melon, okay. I got that from Sam's Beauty as well. I'll link everything down below. Look how long she is. I didn't even show y'all how long she was because it was it was caught in my little jacket. But look, look how, ooh, she cute. Hey, hey, who is she? I don't know, but she cute. Okay, I might have to finesse this color again. I might have to. I'll try anything new, okay? There we go. That's the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.